The Royal Rumble match has given fans some of the most memorable moments in the history of wrestling. And over the past couple of years, some of those memorable moments have come from celebrities. What's up everybody, welcome to the Burning Hammer, and in this video I will be giving you three celebrities who have competed in a Royal Rumble match, but before we get into that, if you want to see five NXT wrestlers who can make their main roster debut, click one of the link up in one of these corners, whichever it is, I can never seem to remember. I also just want to note that I'm only including actual Royal Rumble matches. I am not including any battle royals. All right, so first up is Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny is a massive music star. He's one of, if not the biggest musicians in the world. Bad Bunny first appeared in WWE at the 2021 Royal Rumble when he performed his hit song, Booker T. In 2022, Bad Bunny entered the Royal Rumble as the 27th entrant. Immediately upon entering the match, he would perform a crossbody to Sheamus. Kevin Owens then tried to attack Bad Bunny, but Bad Bunny reversed his moves into a hurricanrana. After that, Matt Riddle came up to Bad Bunny trying to befriend him, but Bad Bunny didn't fall for it, and he hit Matt Riddle with a Canadian Destroyer. I still, to this day, cannot believe that that happened. WWE doesn't let their wrestlers do Canadian Destroyers, yet they let Bad Bunny, of all people who they could have do a Canadian Destroyer, they had Bad Bunny do it to Matt Riddle in the Royal Rumble. It's I just, I, I just can't believe it. Nevertheless, it was still an awesome moment, and they even coined the term the Bunny Destroyer. Following the Bunny Destroyer, Sheamus attacked Bad Bunny from behind and he tried to eliminate him. He threw him over the top rope, Bad Bunny landed on the apron, Sheamus came running in for a bro kick, and then Bad Bunny pulled the top rope down, ultimately eliminating Sheamus from the match. Bad Bunny remained in the match for the next few minutes until Brock Lesnar came out at number 30. Lesnar absolutely cleaned house, he attacked everyone in sight, and then he had his eyes sight on Bad Bunny. Lesnar delivered an F5 to Bad Bunny and then easily just threw him over the top rope and eliminated him. Now Bad Bunny entering the Royal Rumble and actually doing a bunch of really impressive moves just goes to show how much he truly loves professional wrestling because he puts so much time and effort into training and get himself ready for the Royal Rumble. And Bad Bunny would also go on to compete in a few different matches in WWE since then and he's honestly pretty good. All right, so next up is going to be Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville is best known for his movie franchise and TV series Jackass. Jackass influenced a generation of people and they're still making movies to this day. Johnny Knoxville was promoting his newest Jackass movie, Jackass Forever. And he partnered with the WWE to do so, and he even found himself in a pretty good feud with Sami Zayn. Knoxville entered the 2022 Royal Rumble as the ninth entrant. Now he would only last a minute or two because once he entered the match, every wrestler just beat him to an absolute pulp. I remember AJ Styles giving him a super stiff shot and then Sami Zayn would go on to eliminate him after Ridge Holland placed him over the top rope on the ring apron and Sami Zayn came running in and delivered a huluva kick that was very stiff. Now this really kicked the feud between Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn into the next gear and it even set up the match for WrestleMania, which was pretty darn entertaining. All right, and lastly, and probably most shocking, is Drew Carey. Drew Carey is a legendary actor, comedian, and game show host. He's probably best known for hosting your grandma's favorite game show, The Price is Right. Drew Carey entered the 2001 Royal Rumble as the fifth entrant. The strange thing is, is that the 2001 Royal Rumble is often viewed as one of the best Royal Rumbles ever, even with Drew Carey being in the match. Kane would enter the match next as the sixth entrant, and he spent the entire time between entrants walking around the ring just stalking Drew Carey. JR and Jerry Lawler had a few funny lines on commentary. JR was saying that Kane is a carnivore and that Drew Carey is a big pork chop. And Jerry Lawler had a pretty funny line when he asked, what blood type do you think Drew Carey is, ragu? Now Drew Carey would only last a couple of minutes. Once Kane actually entered the match, he went straight for Drew Carey. He tried to get him into a choke slam, but then the next entrant came, which was Raven, who attacked Kane with a kendo stick, ultimately saving Drew Carey, who then eliminated himself from the damn match. Now this would mark the very first time that a celebrity has entered the Royal Rumble, but what made it weird was that usually when celebrities do partnerships with WWE, they're promoting their next project, whatever it may be, but Drew Carey wasn't really promoting anything. He was just doing 
doing it for fun. All right, that's gonna wrap up the video. You drop a comment down below and let me know what celebrity would you like to see in the Royal Rumble next and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell in the corner so you get notified every single time we release a new video. We drop videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.